Hey guys, it's Jennifer from The Shooter's Mindset and we are here at the Vortex Team Sniper Challenge at Coleman's Creek Training Center in LRB, North Carolina. I'm here with Greg and Sean. Um, I think y'all were registered as Sean Hamilton. <laughs> Proof, Night Force, Unhealthy Bromance, all of the above. All of the yes. above. It works anytime. That's right. Many names. Like the epitome of team shooting. Everyone, when you think about that, everybody's like, Sean and Greg, Sean and Greg. So um, y'all were leading the mechanized by a pretty substantial lead at the end of day two, whenever we last saw what scores looked like. So how do you feel about the day? How did the day go? Well, we, scoring is one of those people approach it differently. We're kind of like, cool it's a where we're at but you know as we said we got out of the truck this morning let's just go do our thing I mean it's it's sometimes nice to know where you're at but we're shooting for ourselves we come to these to have fun uh, we just want to perform to what we think we should you know we had some stages the last couple days that we didn't do what we thought we should we had one that you know could be described as bad marriage counseling so we had a little bit of a rough stage on one we went poorly it went poorly, I but heard the less, say, less than optimal. <laughs> mom and dad are fighting. Yeah, I heard the RO say, I felt like mom and dad were fighting, and I didn't want to say anything. I, you know, try to be nice, try to, you know, be, yeah, just be nice. But this was one pick up my stuff, go over, take a nap. <laughs> like, let, and he did. let the bad juju get out. And he did. He went and took a nap. <laughs> yeah, no, so it was scoring. It's, we try not to let it get to us. I mean, yeah, there's tight competition at, uh, at a lot of matches, a lot of great skilled shooters, and we don't discount anybody. I mean, if somebody beats us, we want to know what they did. So we just go and try and perform to what we can, and well, you know, we never uh, never count anything that's taken for granted when there's still rounds to be fired. So there's no gimmies. Yeah, last bullets have to get the dirt. Every before. That's right. Every round fires points potential, so that's how we treat it. So y'all had the one kind of bad, I think y'all called it disaster stage, and then the very next stage you came back and just basically put on a clinic on how to shoot one of these stages. Uh, that's the one that we happened to get on video, which was very fortunate for us, and we posted it this morning if um, people haven't seen it, but um, that was just... Y'all's communication was key. I think y'all always communicate well, but it was just like right on the whole time. Um, people did want to know how you fit in the back of that Tahoe. Uh, you and did a good job editing out some of the uh, inappropriate things that came out of my mouth. So I appreciate that. Uh, I did feel like a you know, curly cue in the back. Uh, you know, not the best uh, shooting form, but it worked. That's right. It was an awkward position, but even on, the, on that stage, even down to, you know, Sean looking back and seeing the position you were going to have to get in and, you know, suggesting, like, take your bipod off, go on the game chain. Like, y'all just, and, you know, and I even was commenting last night when we were editing it because we watched about 100 times, so now I know every move y'all made in that video. But um, even, you know, I'm doing a mag change. Like, y'all, everything you do, you say out loud to the other one. I'm taking my bipod off. I'm doing a mag change. And y'all just communicate so well. I think that's very, very key in this. Communication is key. Um, some of it, we're pretty fortunate that kind of naturally do it with each other. Uh, I think a lot of it because we don't live close together, so we have to communicate talking on the phone and things like that. So it probably just comes a little bit out of that. But uh, at the end of the day, folk, you know, go into the stage. And you mentioned we came off a bad stage, which we did, but it's going. It's like go in, and do our thing. Let's talk through what we're doing. Let's be efficient. You know, if you see something, say something. You know, we. I don't worry about him shooting. If I give him a target and give him a distance, I let him go do his thing, and I'm not going to babysit him through it. But if there is something I see, hey, man, maybe adjust your bipod or do like on that stage, you know, just from my angle. I couldn't see, but I could see he was going to struggle. He'd keep wrapping around the corner of that Tahoe. Uh, hey, kick that bipod off. Whether he thought of it or not, I thought of it, so we'll just at least blurt it out. It's up to him to make that decision is how we act. But if I have an idea... It's for him to consider so and he does the same on, on others like hey move here or set and hey, use this tripod real quick and you know having both of us you know he sees and process is different than what I see in process and you know both of us working together lets us kind of solve that problem faster more efficient whatever it is so yeah it was kind of interesting up on the um, the area that had the offhand stages today when y'all went down to shoot it, the inside, there were a ton of shooters under it because it's pouring down rain, and they had three little stages going. 
and literally y'all got down to shoot and the entire platform got silent. <laughs> But, they, they shouldn't have. Uh, because because everybody wanted to watch, y'all. It was We both noticed it, and it was like, what's going on? Oh, Sean and Greg are shooting it. Um, everybody just got real quiet and was watching, y'all. Um, and, and so I think people know that y'all have a lot to teach, and y'all actually do classes. Mm -hmm. um, I took your class, and it was a great class, and I know a couple of guys here are walking around with your T-shirts where they took your mm -hmm. class. So do y'all have any of those planned? Uh, currently don't have anything on the schedule. Uh, you know, we... We maintain a busy match schedule and just our jobs and families and everything else, but uh, um, we'll generally post something on Facebook on a lot of the, if you're into the team stuff and on Cypress side, they get awareness. Might do something this fall, maybe not. Um, so nothing on the calendar, but we do, uh, it's a couple day, a three day, we call it team dynamics. Just working together. It's working together and solving problems. It's not really a shooting class. It's here's this problem. Let's look at how you're thinking and we'll give some other ideas and here's maybe some techniques that might help this or here's stuff that we've seen in a match or um, like when you came to the one that we did it was very focused on mammoth because everybody there was going to go shoot mammoth so kind of took our experience so here's the things that we think you should know for mammoth and you know and then same thing we've done other classes for other groups or private stuff that's focused on some other specific discipline or specific match okay let's get all the information and how can we at least work you through problems to get basically that match-like experience without going in the match and kind of that mm -hmm. learn as you go and not just throw you in the deep end after you spent the money on an event and you don't know what you're getting into. So mm -hmm. that's, that's right. Anyway, they do a great class. So if they do offer one um, and you want to get into these team sniper matches, I definitely recommend because um, y'all have a lot to teach. A lot of knowledge in those brains. <laughs> All right, well, now we're just waiting on scores, so uh, we will see what happens. Yeah, we will see. <laughs> we will see. Yep. Thanks.